collectors. Typical iron meteorites can be worth you know, $100 a pound or something like that. They can be worth prices like diamonds. That you're not going to probably find a diamond in your backyard, but you could find a meteorite. I got one. A meteorite similar to this one hits the Earth about once every 10 hours. However lucrative his business, Haig is more than a cosmic treasure hunter. First and foremost, he's an enthusiast and make it a little bit more desirable. So this meteorite has actually traveled all the way around the world from Singapore, South Africa, London, and back to Tucson where we bought it again. This is a freshly fallen stone meteor right here from Argentina. This one's called La Criosa. It fell in the mayor's yard. They give me a chance to participate in the space program. Really, it's, it's a way to go to the moon and go to Mars and have the stars without leaving the planet. Collecting meteorites isn't a modern phenomenon. Ancient meteorite hunters also found these rocks from the sky valuable, but for different reasons. Iron meteorites were a wonder to earlier civilizations. The metal was very hard, but could be worked into tools and weapons, thus heralding the Iron Age in human development. You can imagine in ancient times, because it fell with a huge explosions and a fireball and wow, and it just rock lands at this person's feet, this iron rock, it really was sent from heaven. If you could make a knife out of iron, you had something that nobody had. You need it, right? And you cut it with a real tough saw. And remember, it's solid steel inside. And then you throw some acid on it, you'll see that a meteorite has a very unique special pattern. It's like its own little fingerprint called a Wittgenstein pattern. And that shows you that they're made of giant crystals because they cooled, took millions of years for these things to cool. The iron meteorites, you start getting more and more things mixed up inside of them. And sometimes you get a very, very beautiful kind of meteorite. This is called a palisite. And a palisite has beautiful yellow crystals inside of it. You can see it's a mix of both iron and stone and the stone is peridot. Scholars have learned a great deal about our solar system from these extraterrestrial visitors.